Uganda has one of the youngest populations in the world. It's a dynamic and diverse country that's experiencing rapid economic growth and unprecedented levels of development. At the same time, it's trying to tackle daunting challenges such as poverty, health and corruption. The youth have an important role to play in this transition. It's vital that their voice be heard and that they engage in the issues that will shape their country in the coming years. That's where the influence of news media to promote dialogue and awareness can become crucial in engaging young people. Unfortunately, the youth continue to tune the news out. No, I don't watch news. I'm not a fan of it. I don't see any interest in it. I'm a weirdy. I've done. I'm going to go to I don't want journalists in suits. I want them to look normal, to look like the normal people they are talking to. They are not so creative, so it makes the pictures boring. PVI realized it was time to create a news program for young people, by young people, about the issues that matter. That program is Newsbeat. Follow, follow the beat, follow the beat from the studio to the street. Info with the flow, keep you sharp and in the know. Newsbeat raises consciousness and awareness among crucial segments of the population that otherwise might not pay attention. Newsbeat is participatory journalism that addresses current political and social issues that are relevant to our audiences. We put issues in context, ask questions and encourage debate. We actively promote diversity and visibility for marginalized groups. And we push boundaries of press limitations in East Africa. Girls have no business in land deals, but these are old ideas and old ideals. Probably back in the day it made sense, but women's rights should be addressed in present tense. They say health is wealth, but only for the wealthy. Many hospitals, most of them filthy, not fit for animals, not fit for me. MPs agree, but when they get sick, they flee. They fly for treatment in India and America, while the rest of Uganda still die of malaria. Popular hip-hop activists, ladies like Survivor and 14-year-old MC Loy curate the show's content with assistance from local and international journalists. Delivered in both English and Luganda, Newsbeat features local, regional and international stories as well as useful tips for better living. The show currently airs on NTV, Uganda's most popular broadcaster, every weekend before the afternoon and evening news bulletins. Media belongs to the powers of the day. America has CNN, Russia has Russia Today. The Chinese have CCTV, the British have BBC and we too are making our voices heard on NTV. But the reach of the show extends beyond broadcast television. Newsbeat segments are circulated as part of the music DVD show Crowd Pullers, distributed for free to a countrywide network of over 20,000 ambient screens in public venues such as video halls, beauty salons, restaurants and buses. Newsbeat also airs on radio and our Facebook page provides a platform for discussion and content generation. Launched in February 2014, the show became an instant hit with the audience and has garnered attention from the international press. With this success, we are partnering with advertising agency Kangaroo Media and the UNICEF's Young Reporters Network to bring Newsbeat to Tanzania, where we expect to launch in fall 2014 on Azam TV. But this is just the beginning. PVI hopes to train more reporters across East Africa to help create a generation of politically engaged citizens in the region. Follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat. Follow the beat. Follow the beat.